Hi everybody, it's Olivia Blanchard, the brand builder, and I'm in France, and unfortunately the night's falling and it's been raining all day. Uh, but I wanted to uh, start returning to the uh, the video post, or at least the, the videos that I embed into the post. And, you know, I was thinking, um, I just got back from Exeter, England, where I was uh, very fortunate to be invited to speak at the very first Like Minds conference. And I understand there will be another one in February that's going to be a little bit different from the one we just had um, in a very, very good way. I think it's going to be coupled with, uh, with a very interesting second event the following day. I can't talk about it yet. But it's if we pull it off, it's going to be it's going to be like any nothing that anybody's done before, and uh, and I think it's a very welcome change to the uh, the types of remedial kind of social media conferences that are starting to pop up all over the place and provide absolutely zero value except for their organizers who are making a, a good bank. Really, they're making good money organizing this stuff and taking attendees' money. Uh, Presenters, but nothing new. No new ideas. No new data. It's just the same stuff that's rehashed week after week, conference after conference, uh, and it's it's starting to turn into a joke. You know how a year ago we were kind of kidding around and, and laughing at the the army of social media experts that came out of nowhere and everybody was a social media expert. Well, now everybody is putting on a social media conference, and it's you know from the reporting to the content to the, the comments that I read on Twitter about them, it's just it's really turning into a mess, and uh, it's turning pretty crappy. So, um, I think the best thing to do is to start getting a little bit smart and and start really becoming more selective about the um, the, the content that you put in these conferences. All right, security's coming over here, so I'm getting booted. Bye bye. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, security kicked me out. I was uh, I was on the uh, the big pier of the uh, Hotel Martinez, and the guy was really friendly, but I guess uh, you're not really allowed to go out there uh, this time of day. So anyway, what I was saying is, uh, before I was interrupted, is really, we don't need another freaking social media conference every damn week that's going to rehash the same crap that uh, that we've been hearing over and over again. Here, let me turn a little bit. I'll give you the uh, the Hotel Carlton in the background. What we really need are conferences, if we're going to have them, that present um, new data, that present new thinking, that present you know, solutions to problems. It's, it's amazing. I've, I've had, a, I guess, a pretty decent amount of success with this, this basic ROI presentation, which is really a, a 101 level thing. But, uh, and it goes much deeper, and I haven't really had a chance to, uh, to really develop it for a lot of folks. In, in a conference or presentation format. I do it for my clients because it's very hands-on. Um, but that kind of stuff, and just not limited to ROI, but just you know how to integrate social media into the enterprise, into a company, how to actually plug it in at every level and across every single department. That's something that, you know, best practices for that. That's something that would be interesting. That's something that I think people would get uh, a lot of value out of at these conferences. Um, how to do specific things. if if you know, you have three products, two of them are selling well, a third one is not selling well. How do you use social media to impact sales of that third one, the one with the low sales, pretty quickly? Um, you know, it's, it's all things I know how to do, but I, I can't cover it all. I can't be the guy who's, you know, at these conferences basically explaining every damn thing. Um, you know, somebody's going to have to step up to the plate and start actually teaching some of these best practices at these conferences, or at least presenting ideas regarding um, best uh, best practices at these conferences. And more importantly, the organizers of these conferences, whatever they are, whether it's Blog World, whether it's Like Minds, although Like Minds is doing a pretty good job of picking good people, um, whatever the conference may be, start being a little bit pickier. Uh, you know, there there's some great people who have good ideas. There's some, some people out there who haven't had any exposure yet who are doing this work, doing real work, not just pretending to, and have fantastic case studies to present, or at least, you know, methodologies that they're using. Um, some of their case studies aren't finished yet because, honestly, it hasn't been that long. And if you've only been working with a client for three, four, five, six months, you may not be ready to really present a more long-term, a definitive case study. You have anecdotal stuff uh, you have a little bit of trending, but it's not really truly a case study. But the methodology is being developed. After six months, typically you kind of know what's working and what's not. You know what you're doing, and you've come up with some solutions to problems that are worth sharing with other companies. So that's the kind of stuff I'd like to see. I think, 
you know, we're beyond, especially with conferences, we're beyond the uh, the social media is great evangelizing kind of Twitter 101 crap. Um, you know, we can do that. There, there's a place for that still. But honestly, you know, if you're going to pay 200 bucks to, to go see speakers, other than the star factor or whatever, social media superstars, please, um, it's, it's really getting to the point where the value is so bad that it's, it's turning the industry into a big bubble of hot air. And I'm tired of it. Whatever conferences I'm going to start lending my name to from now on are going to be conferences that are serious about the content, serious about delivering value, serious about selecting speakers that um, actually have something valuable to talk about and to present and to share with an audience that's hungry for knowledge and for solutions and for new thinking. So I really challenge you, if you're a, a conference organizer, if you're involved with a conference, to start focusing a little bit more on the content and the purpose of your conference as opposed to just putting on a conference just so you say you did and, uh, and racking in the cash because that, uh, that little cash cow is quickly going to die off if you don't start doing something a little bit more serious. Okay? All right. That sounded kind of bad. It sounded like a dad. All right. It's getting really dark, so I'm going to take off, and it's time to, uh, to go eat some really good French food. So I'll catch you later. Bye. Let it 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 let